If I didn't already explain my hair, I will explain it now. Tried to re-dye my hair because it was fading. Got my purple, added black in it so it could be dark purple like Kokichi. I'm stupid and didn't calculate because I already had purple on my head. And now my hair is dark. I'm an idiot. But luckily, I am out of f***ing hair dye. So it's not like I can it up any more than I already have. I'm just not gonna touch the color anymore and just let this fade how it will. But yeah, I'm gonna rock this for a quick bit and yeah. Sorry for the long hair update. I just wanted to explain myself before everyone got mad that I dyed my hair after the quarantine video. It was an accident. I'm just stupid. <laughs> Yo, what is up everybody? I am Mama Yoshiko. Welcome to my channel if you're new here, or welcome back to my channel, motherfucker! Y'all already read the title. You know why we're here. It is quarantine time. I hope everyone is doing good and every one of y'all is safe and healthy. Who knows how long it's been since I've left my freaking house. A long time, actually. Like a good couple weeks. But I am bored, actually. No, I am not that bored. Why? Because I still have videos to edit and I'm in university still. About to graduate. And my graduation is cancelled. Yay! Let me know in the comments if any of y'all are dealing with this freaking same struggle where your graduation is literally canceled. Then it's alright, right? right? <laughs> hmm. Just freaking mail me my $30,000 piece of paper. We'll be good. I got really bored during quarantine and I wanted to be creative. So we are making a life-size anime boy cutout. I have no idea what I'm doing. What brought this idea to my attention is that I was on Reject a while ago and they were selling a life-size, the freaking cutouts of like Laito Sakamaki and a bunch of the other boys. And it was like $500? And you know they always have it at conventions and shit and freaking Japan events and stuff and I was like, I freaking want one. So to begin the process, what I did was I looked for very, very large HD pictures. I found a whole bunch for free boys and I was like, yeah, we're doing free. We're doing free Iwatobi Swim Club. So what I did is I saved my HD very high quality pictures and make sure they're like large. Like go on Google and press like HD and then press like large, extra large so you get the biggest possible. Because the bigger it is, the more better the pixels will be and the better it will come out. I have no idea what I'm doing. Don't listen to anything I'm saying right now. Do not listen to the crap I'm spewing out of my face hole. So after that, I went on this website called, what was it called? blockposters.com and no this is not spawns I was just googling how to like make your own posters life-size and then I stumbled across this one uploaded my photos and I printed them about five six photos height wise because each page is like 11 12 inches times size that's like five six and a half feet but then I also didn't want to make it too big to where the image would be like distorted and over pixelated and you wouldn't be able to tell it's Haru so I compromised so it is like 4 a.m. right now what better way to waste my quarantine life away is to glue an anime boy at 4 in the morning let's freaking do this shit y'all let's go right now let's go let's go make our boyfriend hello it is on me after the fact after all this shit is done so I printed the image on blogposter.com. After that, I freaking sat my ass down and spent way too long cutting everything out because this was literally over 20 pages of paper that I had to print out, which freaking sucked because this is quarantine. So I couldn't just sneak out of my house at 2 a.m. to go to Walmart as I would have done to get more printer ink. As I was printing Haru, my printer ran out of black ink. His swimsuit and his crotch are ruined. So then I also had to spend way too long sitting there coloring it all in with black Sharpie because it is quarantine and that is all I got. After I freaking finished covering everything out and after coloring his swimsuit with Sharpie, I laid everything out in the middle of my room on top of the cardboard. And luckily I had a giant freaking piece of cardboard that I got for when I bought my guitar. Another reason why, I couldn't make another one because I don't know if you can see it, but there's a freaking hole in this. 
And that was what I was gonna use for rain, but freaking I guess I'll just die then. So after I got my cardboard, I just laid down all of Haru's beautiful body and started laying them out. And after I laid them out, I turned them over and I taped them together just cause I wanted to make it easier for like everything to like look together. Just for them to look more neater and cleaner and also so I wouldn't have to fight with it when trying to glue it at the same time on the cardboard. I don't know, it was just easier to me. Do what you want to do, that's just what I did. And then, mid taping, I couldn't find Haru's calf. Finally getting around to put this shit together and I lost Haru's calf. He worked so hard for those! How could I- My voice is literally cracking. It is morning now, cause of did a ho sleep? Um, no. How could I have lost his beautiful calf? A ho doesn't know. And then false alarm because I found it. Never mind, false alarm. I found it. There. But- I couldn't find his feet, and after I finished putting it all together, I still couldn't find Haru's toes. A lot of y'all told me to just freaking print out a mermaid tail and call it a day, but my printer was out of ink. I couldn't do anything. So Haru will just have to have no toes. I'm sorry, bruh. So after that, I sat and hot glued Haru to the cardboard, cut it out with my cardboard cutter. I left like a little space in between because I noticed on the cardboard when I would go like the top layer of the cardboard would like tug and tug the freaking paper with it. So I just left like a little seam allowance. Seam allowance, this is insane. I left a little space just for just some for safe leeway and then I went back and cut in with some scissors if I really wanted to be more closer to the edge of the paper. And then the only thing I had to do was figure out how to make this boy stand. But I was also kind of lazy and kind of didn't want to make the effort to make him stand on his own. So I found this wooden dowel in my closet and taped him to it. And then I just carried him around my room like an idiot, made a tic tac, and then at the moment I was way too lazy to freaking edit or do anything productive so I made some three ingredient peanut butter cookies instead. I was kind of irritated because Haru did not want to help me. He kind of just stood there and judged the weed piece of trash I am. But all he would do is stand there and he wouldn't participate in the cookie making. But it's fine fucking more from me. You don't get any of these cookies, Haru. I don't think he'd want my cookies. He'd want Makoto's fucking cookies. <laughs> I'm disgusting. I'm sorry. But yeah, boom, your anime boy cutout is done. Now you too can make your own life-size anime boy cutout. And now you can have a lovely boyfriend who will just stand there and watch over you as you sleep. Earlier I accidentally left him in the kitchen and then I was gonna go get cookies so I went back to the kitchen and he like scared the shit out of me because he was just in the corner of the kitchen. That was scary. But yeah, this is just a fun quarantine activity. I was just freaking bored during quarantine even though I have plenty of editing and schoolwork to do. Am I gonna do them? Um, no. I mean, yes, but eventually just not now. No one asked for this video. I was just bored and wanted to do it. But don't worry if this isn't what y'all want to see. I'll have a freaking Disney Twisted Wonderland video up soon. But I hope you all enjoyed this. I'm actually having fun like doing other random shit videos. So if there are other random DIY me doing stupid shit or anything like that, leave it in the comments and I will do that. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for joining my weeb family. I love you very much and I will see you next time. Bye. Yes, mom. This is my boyfriend. Isn't he beautiful? Yes, he is. Say goodbye, hard. Deuces. Bro. For really? Come on. Leave him.